Hi, my name is Joe Rosinski and I'm with Thompson Reuters Legal and I'm here to talk a little bit about Google Glass in a several part series. Uh, right now we're going to be talking about the usability of Google Glass. So, you know, what is it? Why are people using it? You know, what are some of the, the apps that are involved with it? Um, just give you a general sense of what it's like. So, with that, um, I have a pair right here. Uh, it's rather interesting. Um, I'm going to put on the set in a second, but I'll give you an idea. So there's an on off button, very simple. Uh, the back is the battery. Um, the side, so this whole side, and this is upside down now, is actually what you tap. So you go up and down to move as you would with a mouse on a computer or um, on a smartphone to drag, drop, whatever, slide all over it to make sure that it moves in one direction or another. Um, of course, the glass itself is right there. Um, and then there's a camera piece to it. Might be difficult to see, but there's a camera section in there that actually, of course, does the videos. What is the point of all this? <laughs> to me, it is a cell phone. It's a mobile phone, but in your eye. So instead of looking down the whole time when you're actually you know, writing something or whatever, you can do all of it from here. So you can make phone calls, video phone calls, you can do searching, uh, you can share, take pictures. Uh, so share the picture, share the video. Um, there's a navigation, which is incredible, and I will show you that in another part. Um, and there's constantly new apps being developed. They're called glassware. So it's like changing your glassware. They're apps, but that's the name that they're using. Um, there's both in-house and external glassware. In-house, so Google's made a handful of apps. Uh, there's some games that they have or you're moving your head and blowing things up or bouncing a ball off a wall based on how you move your head. Uh, kind of neat to see it conceptually. Um, so those are the internal. The external glassware is basically companies that have come along and sort of developed it on their own. Um, it's still beta, although they're gonna have a, a new release soon of Google Glass, but right now it's beta. So all those beta people um, are like explorers. They're calling us explorers are able to develop these um, apps, Google Glassware. Uh, gotta get used to that, uh, for uh, the masses to be able to test. So with that said, now let's take a look at exactly how it looks when it's on and you'll be able to see how the apps scroll through. And I'll go one by one so it gives you an idea of what's available on Google Glass. So welcome to uh, Google Glass and I wanted to show you exactly what it looks like from my vantage point, this is the main screen. If you click down, you're able to do a number of initial functions that help you actually get into the device itself. Uh, the first is to search. Second, you can take a picture. Third is recording video, which is handy. Getting directions, which is probably the best app that it has currently. Messaging, so you can receive and send text messages, as well as email through uh, Gmail. Uh, calling, basic call. You can also conduct a video call. Uh, you can play games, and there's an assortment of five or six games right now. Uh, you can listen, uh, so it can pick up uh, things around you, such as uh, music, and you'd actually be able to figure out what songs are being played. Uh, there's a compass and you have the ability to do some translation. Uh, the translation is really neat. You actually shoot a picture of something and it, translate it translates it from whatever language you have into English or other languages. So let's go back to the beginning. I'll jump back to the very, very beginning. All right, so this is the main screen. I'll show you how this works. So right now I can uh, tap down on the side and conduct a search. Hogan Lovells, Washington, D.C. So I'm searching on a law firm based in Washington, D.C. and it pulls up the address, a bit of a map, uh, when they're open. And if I tap down now, it says, okay, would you like to call them? Uh, I can get directions from where I am using the GPS right now. Uh, I'll show you how that works, so I'll click that. And it's now going to pull up the directions. Obviously, those are the directions. And then it gives me interactive guide. Okay, from where I am, it's searching for the GPS. It's going to connect, and now it's going to give the auditory uh, for me to actually get to where I need to go. All right, I'll jump out of this. 
tap the side so I can actually show the root too, just if you're curious. Um, let me get out of this so I can stop it. And it's going to take me back to Google Glass. Okay. Uh, going forward, I can take a picture. I'll show you how that works. So I'll just hold my head still. It's instantaneous, so it took a picture of something. Uh, I then have the ability to share that so I can send it to somebody or I can share it on um, a social media or I can delete it. And in this instance, I'll just delete it. All right. And now it's going to take me back to the last things I've done. So I'll go back to the main screen. Click touch down on that. And so I took a picture. You get the idea with the recording. The directions, I have another video on directions, but it is a sensational application. Um, messaging, uh, again, pretty basic. Making calls, video call. One thing I wanted to mention about the video call that's really neat is that I saw or read something recently about uh, a kid that was in the hospital, couldn't get out of the hospital, and someone with Google Glass went to a zoo and was able to actually video their experience at the zoo, and the kid was able to view it on their mobile device. Um, so really kind of a neat uh, ability to, to use that tool. Um, playing a game, I'll show you real quick. One or two games, so they have tennis, uh, shape splitter, balance, uh, clay shooter, uh, matcher, and let's go back to clay shooter because I've done this once before. So clay shooter is a game, basically like a shooting game, a very, very simplistic. So I have to move my head around. Ah, I have to move my head around and try to shoot it. It's not easy. One more time. There we go. Okay. So you get the idea. I'll go back to the main screen. So from the main screen, you also have the ability to uh, see what you've done recently and also get articles. So I'll move forward. As we discussed, I did this. So I did a quick search on Hogan Lovells in DC. Um, comes up with that. I've also taken that picture. Okay, so New York Times. So I was able to take a look at uh, articles in New York Times, which are set up. So I can pull this up and it should have three or four articles in here. It'll give me some more information about each one of them. Um, if I want to, I can read them, or it can play in my ear, so it can be read aloud. I'll show you. See, read aloud, and it'll read, read it to me right now. Let me back out of this, back out of this, and go to this main screen. And I want to show you one of the neat things is that you can actually do video as well. So I'm going to try to get to a CNN article uh, news feed. Um, eh, I guess we'll go here because it's kind of silly. But uh, <laughs> tap down on this and you can actually play the video clip that's coming from it is a um, that's playing very clearly in my eye uh, in translation onto this device that you're seeing it through it's not going to be as clear and as smooth just so you know okay so I'll get out of this and that going forward I keep getting more if I keep going forward I can get tons of articles and as you can see moving forward there's a lot of other items so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back all the way to our main screen. So I also have set up some stocks that I follow, just out of curiosity. Um, some Disney, Discovery Channel, Apple, and, and Sirius Satellite Radio. I can drill into this a little bit further. Uh, so there's Sirius and what happened with it today. A nice little pop for it. Um, Apple, and you can follow it a little bit more closely and set up your own stocks. All right. So moving ahead. Um, I can also see how this device is connected. So it's connected through Bluetooth data. And my battery is at 45%. I can tap into it and say, oh, okay, I can connect to my Wi-Fi as well, but it's not currently. Um, it tells you a little bit more about uh, the device and how it's connected. I'll skip over that next one. Um, screen lock is off. Um, wink for picture is off. And that's the ability to actually wink and take a picture, which is... Uh, Kind of an interesting one. And what else? Volume's at 100%. So uh, that is some of the basics 
surrounding Google Glass and how it looks. And I wanted to give you a quick demo of how it potentially could be used and then you get to think about all of the other glassware or apps that can be added to this. And those would show up primarily in the main section. So clicking on this, you would have all your other glassware showing up there. So in a nutshell, that is it. If you have any questions, let me know, but thank you.